Hello and welcome back to another episode of Phoenix Point. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our blind playthrough of a legendary difficulty Phoenix Point. It is time for the next mission. This time apparently I recover the vehicle mission. No clue what that means. I guess we can steal a vehicle. We're fighting against vehicles. Given that we have seen those bad boys here uh, who can paralyze, I am not sure how good this is going to go for us, but okay. Uh, we will be under continuous attacks with enemy reinforcements, uh, but that in the game so far hasn't really shocked me. Let's see what our team can do. We got Shattered Realm, uh, Ian the Butcher owns, Strength, Dilly G, Grell and Euler as uh, per usual. It's kind of our A team, uh, I would say. And they are doing really well. Uh, the only complaint that I would have for this team is a bit of lack of variety. I can very much see how Shattered Realm kind of has its, uh, his own spot. Uh, I can definitely see how Dilly G has their own spot. Grell with the melee tech, sort of, I can see that, but now also got assault rifles, so it's kind of a frontline soldier. For me, the uh, assaults just play too similar, and I hope that the class diversity will break that up a little bit more. Maybe one uh, Euler making him a bit more of a ranged character, and uh, Drang's kind of more the frontline in your face character. I don't know yet. Uh, that would be my complaint about uh, the situation. It feels like the game only has, uh, in XCOM terms, uh, assault classes and uh, snipers, and then quote unquote, uh, spec down worse version of the heavy. Um, there is no specialist, no utility skills whatsoever. Everybody just uses their own med kits. Not a big fan of that. I typically like utility classes and this game in particular could have really uh, benefited uh, from psionic uh, classes, but maybe it's too early in the game and I'm just uh, drawing conclusions without any right to do so. It's just a few first impressions. Let's deploy the squad and get on going. And here we go. So, what's the idea? Recover a vehicle and evacuate all Phoenix operatives. So our evacuation is on the other side of the map. Our vehicle is here. How do I activate that? It doesn't have any power. But it is a scarab. I don't know whether or not a scarab is good or bad. The last vehicle was pretty damn good. I see them. Under Phoenix control. Okay. Cool. Cool. I got the vehicle. Okay. So what are we dealing with? Um, standby mode until further instructions. That's the normal one. And missile costs three actions. Yeah, but okay, we got four actions. Okay. Buggy still has three actions. And we can apparently just completely mop the floor with terrain. going on oh my lord disabled bleeding oh, this guy has got oh, you gotta be kidding me okay so there's another potential enemy should that realm my turn. goes in Ian the Butcher owns sprints. And continues to sprint. Free aim. Yeah, buddy. I think you're fucked. Oh, 
The guy already has had his uh, med kit in hand. And what are these strange beings? Why does he look half alien? Are these aliens? I'm here. Potentially not, right? They can't stop me. Okay. Yeah, Dilly G wants to get to the sniper nest. Can we get into that car? That would be cool. Alright, I'll just move Dilly to here because I want him to place on that sniper tower. Pushing on. Charging over with Euler. Moving to coordinates. Now ah, the shot is not good enough. And Drank still has, theoretically speaking, an Overwatch ready. I'm on Overwatch. Good. Pretty happy with the Scarab so far. Those rockets were massive. Okay, it's a bit unfair because you can simply point and click to shoot. Wow. This guy is down to. Like, he's ble completely bleeding out. Half of the tower is collapsed as well. is bleeding for 50 <laughs> poor fellow Billy moves up almost at the sniper nest we are continuing to push forward Krell pushes in into full cover. No time to lose. Drinks charges and again pushes into cover. Right there. And shattered realm. Moving up and can't really use our backpacks. That's a shame. We'll be able to do that next time. All right, 30 points of damage. So we're easily hittable, but we also have a lot of hit points. We just can't get too cocky with it.
Okay, we're pretty f far away from the assaults, which means Go this here it. should be fine despite being on open ground. Moving. Steel on target. Okay, well, we're good. Need to reinforce that flank, so Euler comes in. Jumps into full cover. Finishes these guys. Dilly in the meantime takes the high high ground. Time for a quick aim. Can't believe that I was just missing center mass. Good, finally Shattered Realm can move a bit further forward where I wanted right him in the first place. Not yet ending the turn, uh, switch to gun and now we can end the turn. They do have sword rifles, interesting. <laughs> this is crazy. of ammo okay it was too good to be lasting for too long Aiming. all the good things need to come to an end eventually One hit. That new gun, just like the old one, really has a problem with ranged accuracy. Sprints up. Goes into cover. Holding position. Overwatch. On the move. Same deal here. We're moving up. Thank you, I'll take that. I'm repositioning. And we're getting a little bit closer. Pushing on. Let's try to hit that flank and see if we can come from here.
same goes for that other side. Take some cover. And start softening him up because that assault currently, as far as I'm concerned, is the most dangerous one on the map. The Forsaken are tougher than I gave them credit uh, for. All set. We need to clear that Berserker out. Two hits, minus 10 armor. That's not bad at all. Just taking away all of the armor, but support. Identifying target. Elsewise, this here is not going to hit as hard as it should. Alright, getting them properly injured. How many hit points? Still 123. up removing some of the cover operative on the move looking for an angle oh they have returned fire not good ah! Not good. Repositioning. Hope this works. Need to take medium range then if they have returned fire. That way they cannot return fire. Trying to aim. Okay. Moving over. dead. Oh, that's what I wanted out of it. New Berserker comes in. That assault no! is giving us a hard time. Like, he is sturdy. Can't destroy that, unfortunately. Here. Moving out. Shattered realm. <laughs> Begins to hit the guy. Keep it 
Tilly unfortunately only has the high ground option. hoping for a better position. Moving. Not a lot of really good positions here and with the arrival of a new guy. We're seeing a couple yeah. of problems as well. Five by five. Euler moves over. We're staying. Yeah, I don't want to hit our comrade. Confirming target. <laughs> All right, free reload. Trying to use all of our time units. Unfortunately, the buggy still is cause for concern. Could use some more ammunition. So do we. I'm on the move. Good time to finish <laughs> this guy. Oh boy. What an enemy. Have to focus. We can't be always taking return fire. Focus. Focus. Now we lost an arm. Now we lost an arm on top of it. That's not good. Right there. Good. Time to continue harassing him. By disabling his arm, he should also not be able to shoot anymore. Apparently they do have multiple medkits 
And for some reason, he can still shoot with one arm. That's interesting. Homes online. What's our move? Moving closer with Ready Shadow Drow. Taking some damage. I'm here. Taking over a grenade. I hope this helps. To the front again. And how, how about going over here? And trying to hit him. This guy is just standing there like a tank, as if, as if he is completely unhindered by anything that we're doing. Interesting stomp on the ground, by the way. Zooming in. Be right there. I have enough of this. 70 bleed, he's dead. I'm ready. Good. Aiming. Still on target. Uh, ready. Dilly moves into all heavy cover. Do we have a plan? All set. Euler sprints into a really good cover where we can I'm still fight. some better armor piercing weapon it feels our assault guns which are okay against normal enemies turn out to be quite ineffective against heavier armor foes all right action. did he just mind control us i think he did Just 
Okay, 60. Yeah, he's dead. No need to. I'll try and get there. Further charge in. The berserkers are coming. Okay. Ready, sort of. Dashing to the coordinates. Running. Good time to motor out of here. Grabbing some extra loot in the process. Let's try this. Okay. More difficult than I would have expected. The harder, the harder armored targets. Running. Actually, a little bit of a cause for concern going forward. Sure about this. Okay, Overwatch and let's hit him. The sniper is definitely uh, pulling their weight. Billy G is hitting very hard, even against the hardest armor targets. And I think I need to find an alternative to just assault rifles. They are good in medium range combat against lightly to non armor targets. They deal a lot of damage. But anything above that really doesn't work out that well. Good, we got a level up. I'll figure that out in a second. Okay, we even recovered a couple of these magazines and got a scarab. Select deployment location. Where would we put that? It was a good vehicle. Uh, let's put it into frozen circuit for now. I think we need to go back to the base. And in terms of manufacturing, I'm still wondering where are the weapons with the huge shred iron clasps? Hmm. I mean, these guys shred one, and that might be part of the problem, right? Single shot, high damage, that's why it's not a problem. I need more high damage alternatives. This is only a single, sh uh, single shredding as well. Hmm. Good. 
Let's upgrade. Oh, we finally got the upgrade. Damage and speed are increased proportional to hit point loss. Hmm, that's pretty good. But I don't like hit point loss to begin with, so that's on the other hand is not so good. I think we're starting with training another class in here. Berserker, really good class so far. What could be a good combination? What could be a good combination? I mean, assault in order to dash and charge forward definitely would make sense. Could Heavy and Berserker work together? Let's try that. Okay, 50% damage increase with melee weapons. Does that mean we're de dealing even more damage? Maybe. And that is great. That is pretty damn good. Okay, I mean, Grell can uh, can definitely become very strong with that. This here would be interesting to see if it stacks. The strong arm, but we don't have the points yet. 50, we could train a new class here with Ian the Butcher Owens. Might as well try that. Um, and I'll put Heavy on top of it. So with that, we have Melee Brawler, but we also have Warcry. That ability is just tip top. I like it. And that will be good as well, the Boom Blast. No second class for Dilly G yet. Sadness. And Euler would be someone with a Sniper second class. So yeah, we made a couple of really good improvements here. Okay, so still have no great solution for that shredding <coughs> we'll eventually get there good we got another exploration site our operatives have uh, sat down outside of an abandoned shopping complex looks like the main building here used to be a hardware store there is bound to be some items and material that we can use in the middle of Africa and Congo yep Seems about right. Okay, in the meantime, this whole pausing and micromanaging is quite infuriating. I don't know. See, we already uh, we already uh, finished that one, so I'm always lose. It always feels like I'm losing a little bit of time here and there. Two for twelve is good. Love it. Feels like one of those old civilization games where you needed to micromanage every single field every round uh, for 15 different cities on the highest difficulty not bad uh, we have the cybergenetic labs medical bay training facility we already have that 
So what's happening in here? Living quarters, satellite uplink, medical bay. Also got a training facility. Uh, I got money or oh, resources rather. So what are we building? Another manticore, good. Research going. It's a sniper rifle, Gauss machine gun. Wasn't that impressed with the Gauss machine guns, to be honest. Yeah. What am I doing with all of the resources? I want to efficiently use them. We could... Put another research lab here. Uh, for all research projects. Well, why, why wouldn't we go with a research lab then? Which means we need more tech. Phoenix Delta. That's another base, which we can also build up. Exploring there. And exploring here. We definitely need more tech. Okay, our operatives have encountered a Sinidrian scientific expedition purpose to analyze a small lake that has turned odd shade of purple and seems to be pulsating with some of the force. Can't tell whether that's a single organism or some sign of, uh, sort of colony, uh, is what one of the expedition scientists said. Of course, that discussion might not really apply to something created by the Pen Pandora virus. In any case, in case, we could help the experts. Help to analyze the lake. Research and good attitude. There's another Phoenix base. How fast am I supposed to <clears throat> to expand? Investigate tech. Okay, that solves our tech problem, which is pretty damn convenient because now we can go to here and build a research lab. Another one would be helpful. But that requires more. That way we would uh, research faster. I think at the beginning that'll make sense. I'm not sure how good research labs are or efficient. What do we have here? We have an option to trade. Oh, they want the good old technology. No, 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 no. We got enough food. We want technology as well. Shara is a friendly, cultural, diverse haven which takes main refugees over the last decades. Although it remains somewhat isolated when it comes back to bigger factions, its founder is thoughtful and charismatic Ulysian J. Black. Thoughtful, yes. Charismatic, not sure. The former owner of the global cybernetics uh, company who was uh, ousted uh, uh, after hostile takeover of Vanadium Incorporated. You better not trust West of that lying sack of a Pandorian slime, he tells our operatives. Honestly, I don't even think he took my company away from me because of the actual cybernetics. It's all part of a bigger plan, I guess, but honestly, who gives a crap about his plans? Anyway, he continues. What I want from you people is this. Go to Sinaidrian Research Lab. At the coordinates, retrieve equipment from the list and bring it all for me for a nice rewards. No questions asked. Except the mission. Thunder and Sunshine. Where is the Thunder and Sunshine?
Where is that? Where is Thunder and Sunshine? Activate the base. Would be possible. Haven't really built out the uh, second base. What? Hmm. Not sure what it would help us to have yet another base. There is a base up here as well. Let's shortly move there. No, they just they don't trade the right materials. that other mission uh, it seems a bit odd doesn't it oh over here no that's prisoner of ice these are the other two storyline missions with our freshly activated base I mean as we can I want one base on each continent, like that's our Asia base. Potentially should have taken that base, but it's okay. Um, we need one in North America. I would say over here. Oh, here's thunder and sunshine. Are you kidding me? On the South Pole, really? Yeah, okay. Um, that'll need to wait a little bit. Operatives have set down what appears to be a large destroyed haven. Search the haven. Get food and materials. Love it. I mean, we could activate the base down here. I guess, and they just get a full continent going we got new recruits doesn't matter for now we can't even fully work with two teams yet and we got triton thugs i don't really see the difference here Okay, that one is new, Terra Sentinel. Mostly found in colonels. Rumor to have psychic abilities that hinder human troops. Okay. Spawnery. Structure intelligently evolving new Pandorian forms, okay. Egg of the Fireworm. Pots will break, releasing creature inside. Fireworm. It's a little bit an acid worm. I don't know. The, these things here, like if you have a poison worm and then a fireworm and an acid worm, it's not really a good enemy design if you have the same enemy, just reskin it. Okay. Anyways, uh, Siren Investigator, level Praetorian, evolve close quarter combats, 80% of the creatures covered in chitin armor. Okay, well that sucks. Two action points, 80 damage, 20 bleed. Well, that's painful. Mutated, evolved to launch poison worms. Yeah, we've already seen those guys. Okay, 
No, thank you. I don't need more of the other resources. Oh, well, that would be activating the base. Uh, I don't want to do that yet. In Haven Spartacus, what? Elite training created in Haven Spartacus? Okay, not sure if I understood correctly what just happened. Okay, hmm. Elite training constructed in Haven by Disciples Enu. Okay. Okay, so construction complete. Cybergenetic lab. Well that's important. Let's see, can we now manufacture the cool cybergenetic armor? Not really. Augment. Oh, okay, cool. So that would augment uh, people into these um, fully metal uh, things. I like it. Kind of the mech version. I will need to read through that a little bit more. Okay, I looked a little bit further into that set of new gear. And I must say, I'm, I think I'll uh, turn one or two of the operators of the Prime team into those uh, cyborgs. Uh, clinging to the runes of an old library, our operatives have discovered a half-mad creature that resembles a barnacle with a human face. Uh, the creature, apparently the former head of a librarian, is still human enough to give directions uh, to its hidden treasure. Follow the creature. Okay. 25 skill points have been obtained. That is actually a really nice uh, find right there. We need to build more research labs. So I'm still looking for tech as a resource. Let's... Our operatives have set down near an abandoned mining complex. Machinery have been uh, left to rust and no sign of anyone alive or dead. Place has been picked clean. Searching the mine itself might yield better results, but after years of abandonment, it's not clear. Well, search the mine in the complex. There is the tech that I was hoping for. Which means we can build another research lab. Unfortunately, at the same time, it seems as if we're quite injured. Um. You know what, we can continue. They need to put on their big boy pants here. Our operatives have discovered a large screaming head which appears to have grown on top of an old warehouse. The head is only vaguely human and resembles a very large pumpkin. Its eyes bulge and dip in a pus-like fluid appears to be screaming the same word, something like Yoglok, 
or no or, or no cod yeah let's contact them disciples of a new attitude changes research plus 65 well that's not bad how is diplomacy doing in general this uh, disciples of a new uh, 5 10 18 well we're actually doing reasonably well We've received an automated emergency transmission from New Jericho Science Facility. Message composed of the word overrun, repeated in a loop. Tracking down the location has revealed some security footage. So, New Jericho continues to expand its military capabilities. This time with a new class of soldier. The technician, robotic arms, cranial input hubs. It all sounds very impressive. And we are not exactly opposed to this development. But we do wonder, when is New Zarico going to invest in any... Yes, we need to achieve some kind of peace. And we in Synedrion aren't unwilling to fight. But winning is more than just building the biggest army. To win, we need a functional infrastructure. We need people who can plan. We need a system that works. All right. So, Overrun <clears throat> is right here in New Jericho. I think we're going to do that soon. But for now... Let's continue exploring the remaining sites. Um... Haven Info. Generally friendly. Let's trade. Nope. They want the only resource uh, that we cannot trade. Uh, how about trading here? God damn it, you guys all are looking for technology. How is that even a thing? Okay, the B team, I tell you what, we have nothing more to explore here. So I'm making the bold call and moving them up there. Our operatives have discovered an abandoned scrapyard which appears to have once been used as a refugee group of steel workers. Workers have heroically defended this location for years until hunger, fin hunger finally forced them to abandon it. Remarkably, they recorded the history by engraving it into large metallic plates they used to keep out the enemy. These plates would be extremely useful as construction material. But rep representatives of Synhydron have asked us to preserve them as a... Re All right. Cool. So we have now reached a point where they want to share technology, nuclear fusion technology. Um, early days, sodium cooled reactors, but that is the second generation. Better battle armor. Combat philosophy orients towards deep reconnaissance and rapid deployment. I think we're going to take the battle armor. Oh, they gave us everything. Ooh. Good, easy peasy, only 13 hours per. Well, that's not bad. I like it. Uh, 
Again, they are only looking for stuff that we can't share with them. Search the area. Materials and food. We have plenty of both. Moving to the next site. Starting to explore it. And this is where we end today's episode. Uh, the overrun piece will be done by the second team. Thanks for watching, guys. Truly appreciate it. If you don't want to be in the second uh, team, but in the prime team, then the best way of uh, grabbing attention is to click that like button. Um, see you in the next uh, two. Uh, see you in two days in the next mission. That's what I want to say. Take care. Bye bye.